king was never anointed to do the prophet's job in the first place. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. In First Samuel chapter ten, uh, Samuel left instructions, very specific instructions. He said, "Wait until I get back. Mm -hmm. Then we're gonna make the sacrifice." But right. Saul got in, impatient. And it wasn't that he made the sacrifice; it was his sin. It was his impatience that was his sin, and he didn't want to do it God's way. That was his sin. Mm -hmm. And so in verse 13 of chapter 13, we see in verse 13 of chapter 13, the beginning of the end for Saul. Uh, this was the beginning of the end for Saul because Saul had, from that point on, began to fall out of favor with God because he didn't do things God's way. Mm -hmm. It says there that God had chosen another after his own heart mm -hmm. because there's nothing, there's nothing that brings about a cancellation of an anointing mm -hmm. like disobedience. Uh -oh. Obedience brings and maintains anointing. But disobedience cancels and aborts anointing. I can say it no other way than that. I don't have no Hebrew for y'all today. I ain't got no Greek for y'all today. I can't say nothing. I can't say no better than that. You obey God, you maintain your anointing. You disobey God, you abort or cancel your anointing. There's no other way to say it. Oh my. So, so the people were afraid and King Saul was afraid and everybody was scared, everybody was scared everybody was afraid, everybody was scared, everybody was running and they was terrified and, 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 and everything but see, something rose up in Jonathan and his armor bearer that I like to call the champion's anointing okay. All right. All right. Uh, uh, see, let me explain something let me explain something, for some reason in chapter 13 Israel had no blacksmiths, so they couldn't make any weapons. Okay, okay. Uh, 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 and what they had to do was Israel, so that they would have a supply of some kind of weapon, some or some kind of point on it. They they went and got the they 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 they, they pitchforks and they, they got the sickles and they, and they got the the maddox, which is basically a pickaxe. And they went and got them shot. So they went and improvised. They, they got this. They said, we came. We ain't got no weapons. So I got to get my farm and equipment mm -hmm. and sharpen it. I got to get okay. my, my sickle and get it sharpened. Right, I got to right. I gotta use what I got. I, I, I might not be able to speak all that well, but I got some knowledge. So I got to yeah. use yeah. what I got. Yeah. I got yeah. to use what I got. I got to take lemons and make lemonade. I got to take yeah. lemons and make lemonade. I, 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 they, so they went. In the enemy's camp and sharpen they stuff. They sharpen whatever they can find. I believe they find if they had pencils, they would have sharpened them. If they, they had screwdrivers, they would have got they would have got them sharp so they could they could throw the battle with a screwdriver and a pencil and a, and a pickaxe and a and a pitchfork and and, and, and and sickles and all these other things that really were not weapons, but they improvised. Okay, so just in case they were ready. So let me tell you something. I, I, I believe the Bible does not indicate that Jonathan and his armor bearer had weapons either. So, so the Bible, the, the, if, you, if you read the whole story, it doesn't indicate that they had weapons. It, 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 it indicates, it leads us to believe that they had the same stuff that everybody else had. I don't know if it was a pitchfork or, or a sickle or, or whatever it was. It, it wasn't a sword, it wasn't a standard spear, it, it wasn't a regular weapon. So, so they went into the battle ill-equipped, mm. but they trusted God. Yeah. They had obedience, yeah. they had trust, and they had avail availability. Yeah. This made them part of God's special forces. And they woke, woke up early in the morning. Mm -hmm. Jonathan and his unnamed, this is an unnamed armor bearer. Right, and this right. is a, he, they don't mention his name. He's, he's not there for name recognition. Yeah. He's Come there on. to serve Come his on. master. Oh my God. To, and there were there were they were they, they there were three things that they had confidence in. All right. Look in verse six. I'm, I'm verse six of chapter fourteen. They had confidence in the. Like I told y'all last week, the presence of God. They had confidence in the presence 
of God. What does it say in verse 6? It said, Then Jonathan said to the young man who bore his armor, Come, let us go. I'm ready to go right now. I'm not saying nothing to anybody. I'm not asking for no advice. I'm just asking. If I believe Jonathan would have went by himself if he needed to, but he went to us. He said to his armor bearer because it was his armor bearer's job to go away.